guys, welcome back. So today I have a super cute haul from scrapbook.com. Well, I actually have two hauls from scrapbook.com and a Michaels haul to film. So I'm gonna try and get them all done today, right now. So I'm gonna try and go a little bit fast. And yeah, let's just jump right in to this super cute, adorable doodle bug haul. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the paper pads, the six by six paper pads, but I do have some 12 by 12 sheets coming up in in this video as well. So you guys know that last time I did get the adorable fairy tales collection from Doodlebug and I loved it so much you guys. I have already made a flip book to thank one of my subscribers who sent me a totally awesome kawaii unicorn care package a few weeks ago. If you guys haven't seen that video definitely check it out. I will leave the link down in the description and in the comments. Oh my gosh you guys she just showered me with love so anyway as a little thank you i made her a flip book uh using this pad and you guys it is just so magical so i'm not gonna do a full flip actually i guess i can't do a flip through at all they are attached but you guys the pages are so magical maybe i will end up slicing that open but basically there's a preview of them they are so kawaii like i was so surprised to find a paper pad like this it is so hard for me to find paper pads that i even like I was so super duper excited when I found out that Doodlebug shipped to Canada and that I could get some of this adorableness in my life. Also, my husband, my savior, is on his way upstairs. He is going to cut these books open for me. What a sweetheart, guys. Let's all give him a round of applause. So I did get two more of these fairy tale pads because you guys, they were so adorable to work with. You have no idea. So I also went ahead and got a six by six paper pad of their Under the Sea collection, which is basically their mermaid pad, whereas this one is like the unicorn pad. Uh, and I just had so much fun. Originally, I wasn't planning on getting this six by six. I was just gonna get a few of the 12 by 12s, but I had so much fun working with this collection. I knew that I had to get this collection too. And I will do a really quick flip through of that as soon as my husband gets upstairs. Wow, he came up fast guys okay so here is a super duper quick flip through this cloud one is like one of my favorites but i'm not gonna go slow on all of them because i have already showed this but that is another of my favorites and then it just continues the rainbows and like even though it isn't like that pastel it is still so much fun to work with and because of like there is still some pastel purple there and you know because of the pinks you can still work in pastel elements but it's really bright and it's just so fun and so cute and i love their little kawaii faces they are so adorable oh my goodness so like i said i did get the um six by six of this one as well so there you can see the wh whales Ooh, that is hard on the eyes guys so cute so these could all be cut apart in your paper trimmer and just really really cute that fish one was one of my favorites and these wave ones these ones are awesome for um layering cards backgrounds and then basically it just repeats there's another really cute one yes so i did get those um so i did also get some more of the odds and ends or the ephemera if you would like to call it that and once again i'm not going to dump them all out because i did show these in my last doodlebug haul uh scrapbook.com haul but basically it just comes with 84 die cuts and they are so super adorable i have already used a bunch of them and i absolutely love them and i want to be able to gift some as well you know put them in little um loaded bags um pocket letters flip books stuff like that so i definitely knew that i needed more than one pack um so last time i did get the six by six of the cream and sugar collection so i decided that this time i would get the ephemera for that as well and look at these cute little cups like i don't even drink coffee or anything with caffeine but they are so cute again with the little kawaii faces oh my goodness so here are the pieces that comes with that and once again i am saving this um for when i do some happy mail with someone super super cute 
So I did get some more of the icons and the mini icons as well. And then actually hadn't looked through this box because I wanted it to be a surprise when I made the video uh, for some strange reason and then ended up accidentally reordering these same uh, mini icons today. And I think the icons too. But anyway, that's okay. Thank goodness for Happy Mail. Okay, so I did get these mini icons here. And one great thing about these that I didn't realize the first time I ordered them is that they come with two sheets, which is really awesome. So I have already used the castle sticker from my first set and it turned out so great, you guys. I love these stickers so much. They are so cute. They do have a white border around them. So you do uh, wanna keep that in mind. Uh, that might not work for certain projects. Um, but these ones here, which are the icons, so that was the mini icons, but these ones here, the bigger icons, these ones do not have a white border. Well, it looks like the birth, the word, the birthday does, but the rest of them do not. So they are also very great for cards. I love these clouds so much and the cupcake. I can't even tell you guys. So I did get these again and I do have more on the way. Actually, I think my last order, these might've been sold out. So last time I might've only got the mini icons, but yeah, I did get those. So I also did get these and I just thought these would come in handy for when I make random birthday cards because I usually do make all my own handmade birthday cards. Um, but yet I didn't have like any like birthday stickers or anything. So I was always just like making it all out of pure cardstock and just like whatever I had around. Um, so I thought this would be great. Then I can actually have some birthday themed things on my birthday card. And I thought that the little cupcakes uh, and ice creams were really cute too, so I did get those. So along with the icons and the mini icons, Doodlebug also has these really awesome things called Fancy Frills. Well, I shouldn't say awesome because I haven't tried them yet, but they are really cool. So um, I did get a few packs of those. So here are the purple ones. And actually, wait, I have tried them out yet. Sorry guys, that is why I ordered more. So when you get the odds and ends, um, and I might have one over here when I show you guys the paper. Uh, when you get the odds and ends, or not the odds and ends, the this and that, sorry, oh my gosh, all these different names. Anyway, when you get the odds and ends, um, it comes with a few of these, and these borders actually worked great. So this is a sticker, but it is like a tiny bit um, thicker um, than a regular sticker, like just a little bit. So yeah, these actually worked great as borders, and I was like, you know what, I gotta get me some more. So I did get the purples, I also got these totally adorable ones that I love so much to go with the mermaid collection. Look at those little fishies, you guys. They are so And then, cute. of course, because they were so cute, I got a second sheet. So I also got another pack of these adorable unicorn and castle cue clips. You guys, I can't get enough of these and I have been doing a ton of unicorn happy mail lately. So these are totally perfect. I've actually already ordered more and already used over half of the ones that I got last time. So the next things are like some of the most adorable things from this order. I even got a couple from my son or for my son. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are so cute. So these are the Doodle Pops. Some of you may have heard of them, some of you may not, but they are so cute. So I got like a whole bunch of them, guys, and I ordered a whole bunch more today. So here is the Little Turtle, and these are dimensional cardstock stickers, just in case you were wondering. So cute. So I also got this whale, and this is a blue whale, and you're gonna see there is actually a matching pink whale as well. So these two are for my son, and I did get these ones to go with um, the cream and sugar collection. I'm actually not gonna use these. What I'm gonna do is put them like inside a flip book, like gift them, maybe like repackage them with like a cute little topper or something. Um, so I also got three more of these 
cute little cupcakes that I just adore like crazy. Sorry about the glare, you guys. And I did get a couple of these cupcakes last time. Already used one and they are so cute. I was like, oh my goodness, these would be so cute for gifting. So these are like $1.42 each, which is like just over $2 Canadian. So I don't know, not too bad. Um, but yeah, totally adorable. I could not say no. So I did get a couple more of the unicorns. Once again, so cute, you guys. Sorry, guys. I could like hear little footsteps tiptoeing up behind me like the whole time that I was just talking, but I didn't want to like stop talking in the middle of the video. And I was like, who is that? Of course, it was my son. So anyway, I did get the unicorn ones. Super adorable. Once again, dimensional cardstock. Great for card making, happy mail, anything like that. So I did also get two more of the rainbow ones and the clouds ended up being absolutely perfect for a couple of different projects I was working on. I did also get these two dolphins and I do have one more of these on the way because I think these will go really really great with um, the mermaid. Let me check what is the mermaid collection called anyway? Okay so the mermaid collection is called Under the Sea. So these ones actually go with Under the Sea and then there is like a little boys one called Anchors Away and I think that is what these two are from and I'm actually going to be ordering that one for my son in a few weeks. Um, but anyway continuing with the doodle pops here is the adorable little pink whale that I told you guys about she is so cute and there is her friend um one thing that I wish is that they could have like made them facing each other because that would have been so adorable but I mean it's still really cute um so let's see yes there is a couple more so I also got the mermaid Super cute. I love the fact that they are dimensional. So that was it for the Doodle Pops, but of course we are still not done. So I also got some of their enamel dots and the Doodle Bug enamel dots are called sprinkles. So you can get the sprinkles or the glitter sprinkles. Of course I got the glitter sprinkles. Um, don't ask me why some of them say glitter sprinkles and some of them just say sprinkles. Um, but anyway, here are the cupcake glitter assortment, which is definitely one of my favorites. I think you guys can kind of see it there. It's almost like a holographic or um, like AB um, glitter. I don't know what to call it, but it is really, really cute, you guys. So I did get that one. Um, basically, I wanted all the colors. Um, I, they are pretty expensive though. They're like five bucks American per pack. So I did put the green back. And then of course the blue sold out the day before I made my order. But anyway, I was able to get the lilac glitter assortment, which I love these ones so much. And both of these again will match both of the collections I bought perfectly. Then I also got another of the birthday girl assortment, but this actually matches the fairy tale collection and it matches perfectly. And you guys know I'm not an orange person and orange is usually like, I don't like to use the word hate, but if I had to use a word to describe orange, it would be a lot stronger than dislike. Um, and anyway, I was loving these orange glitter sprinkles with that collection, you guys, loving them. So um, anyway, I also got these ones because they were all sold out of the blue and I ended up being really happy that I did get these because they come with like this really, really pretty like robin's egg blue. You know, it's not quite a mint, but it's like almost there. It is just so like, what would I call it? Tiffany blue? I don't know. It's so beautiful, guys. So I did get those ones as well. Then I got one other thing, um, which I can honestly tell you I would not purchase again. Um, these were like $5 or more US. So for me, that's like 7 or $8 Canadian. Um, these look like they've been yellowed by the sun. And why do I keep saying, um, uh, anyway... Uh, the clouds are really cute. Uh, I just don't think that's worth the price. And like I said, it looks like they've been yellowed by the sun. So, um... Yeah. Okay, on to the paper. Batteries at 5%. Can we do it? 
Yes, we can. Okay, girls, let's see. So all of these uh, are double-sided paper. At least I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, these are all Doodlebug, so these are all double-sided. So I did get a bunch of the petite prints. And then, of course, I got a bunch from the cute little kawaii collections as well. So this is a double-sided paper. This is the same one down here. You see, if I flip it over. So I just put them like that so I don't have to flip it. So I did get two of those. Um, I actually should have arranged these better because with my nails, this is not going to be easy, guys. Okay, so I did get this purple one right here, and I mainly got it for this side. Sorry if that's hard on your eyes, but this is kind of like a gingham. I don't know, but it is going to look perfect with um, that. Oops, this isn't even supposed to be in this video. That is vellum for my other haul. See, this works so perfectly with that collection. So I did get that one. And then, of course, you can see that one underneath from the Fairy Tales collection. I got another one of that. Um, oh, and there is the other side of that one. And then, of course, I got another one of these because I absolutely love, uh, well, of course, I love this side, which is great. And I might even hang one on my wall or at least uh, make some kind of DIY for a friend's daughter's wall. But this is the side that I just cannot get over and that I have been using like crazy and needed more of. So I did get two more of that because, of course, I need to keep one in my hoarding paper case as well so what did i get an what the heck what i got three of these and they put them separately okay that is kind of weird and my nail is being stupid and weird too guys ah okay okay i can do this okay so yeah it looks like they did um give me a third i'm gonna have to check if i ordered three of these because I honestly don't remember ordering more than two of any of the papers. So then this one is Sunshine's. Did I really order this paper too? Okay, maybe I ordered it because of the waves, but I'm starting to get a little confused. Okay, so this one I know that I ordered because of the little fishy fishies and I ordered a few of these. Um, but like I said, I don't remember ordering more than two of anything. So yes, I did get two of the fishy. Then there is this paper here. And I did get two of those ones as well. You can see the pattern there. Really adorable. And then there is the other side. So, every, and everyone keeps calling this leaves. And like, I don't know what, and I'm like, guys, it's seaweed. And I just wanna scream it out in the video. Like, hello, it's seaweed. <laughs> It's just so funny, like not in a bad way. I think it's hilarious, but people keep calling it some kind of leaf or something. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love you guys. I, I just, I love my YouTube friends. You guys are the best. Okay, so this one I got because of this side, you guys. It is so, I say super cute. What do you guys say? Stinking cute? So stinking cute, wouldn't you say? Oh my goodness, it's adorable. I love it. Okay, I'm going to need another one of that one. Okay, so here are the um, sticker things that I was telling you about that um, I can't remember why. But, oh, yeah, some of them come with borders on them. So that's how I tried um, those border stickers, and they worked great. So this is for the Sugar and Spice collection. So basically, I got these for birthday cards. Um, but you know, some of them are general messages that you could use for anything. So then here is like some multicolored. And then of course, this side I thought would be perfect for card making. Then here we have some of the petite prints. Sorry if that's rough on your eyes, guys. And probably going to be using this side. Thought that was super cute. And then I did get it in the purple as well. And I do wish they would come out with a lighter purple. However, this purple does match um, both of the collections or more than one of the collections actually. So I'm assuming that's why they did that color. And then I did get one of these. It's funny cause I thought I got two of these. So it's funny that they sent three of the other. Uh, and that one is like a, <clears throat> almost the same color as my cutting mat. Really like it, like a cross between a mint and a teal. And then this one here, what would you call it? Powder blue. 
Oh, it is so cute, you guys. I love it. I have the name of that blue on the tip of my tongue. It's almost a periwinkle, but it's like a powder blue periwinkle. It's really, really cute. And last but not least, these cute little cuppies, but I did not get them for the cup side. I got them for these cute little borders that I can use on my cream and sugar collection projects. Wow, guys, am I ever happy that I decided to split this up into multiple videos. Cause oh my gosh, this video here was longer than I thought. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed everything you saw today. Like always, hit me up in the comments if you want or need links. If you guys are doing Happy Meal with me, you can definitely expect some of this cuteness coming your way. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, Miss Eddie Blue.